This is the second tutorial where I'll look at the change image example code snippet. When we click on the tablecloth, the image changes. As mentioned in the previous tutorial, the function that changes the image has been replaced in the latest version of blend for web the change image function is now considered deprecated. Because of the change, I've made my own Blender scene. When you click on the monkey objects, the image mapped to the character changes. And it is the code from this project that I'll be going through in this tutorial. So when we click on the monkeys, the character skin changes. How do we set that up? I chose this Blender scene because the Iron Man character is a duplicate of the Spot character, with the duplicate being mapped to a different template. In an old tutorial, I show how easy it is to change the template in Blender. In this tutorial, I show how to do it dynamically at runtime in a web browser. I appended the glass monkeys in from my web materials matcap tutorial. They act as the user interface, something to click on to make changes to the scene. Looking at the code in the JavaScript file, I've scrolled down to the load callback function where you place your code to make the scene interactive. The get canvas function returns a link to the HTML canvas element that is stored in the variable container and we add an event listener to the canvas listening for a mouse down event and when the event occurs when the canvas is clicked the main canvas clicked callback function is called. Scrolling down to the callback function the get coords x function gets the x coordinate for the mouse click event and stores it in the variable x. The get coords y function does the same for the y coordinate. The coordinates are used by the pick object function to return the object that was clicked on. The blend for web pick object function returns null if the object has not been made selectable in the blender file. In the blender scene, in the object properties, in the selection and outlining panel, I've clicked selectable for the monkey objects, but not for the other objects in the scene. If the object clicked on is not selectable, variable obj will be null and the statements in the if block will not be executed. If the first monkey object is clicked on then the world background image changes but I'll talk more about that later. If the other monkey objects are clicked on then the textures image source changes so the character's skin texture changes. Scrolling up, you may wonder why I have six cube objects. Often, a character's skin is a single mesh object mapped to a single image file. For the Cubicraft characters, I have made six different body parts but they are all mapped to the same image. There are many Cubicraft characters and most use the same template and they can be downloaded from the Cubicraft website. The replace image function links an object to a texture and an HTML image element and because there are six objects, I need six statements. The image object 
is used both in the load callback function and the main canvas clicked callback function so it needs to be made global. Here it is created and I'm using the naming convention of starting global variables with an underscore. Going back to the change image code snippet the world image background can also be changed by clicking objects in the scene. I have used the same background images in my scene and they can be toggled between by clicking on the first monkey object. First I'm going to quickly show how to set up a world background image, change Blender Render to Blend for Web and click set recommended options. In the world properties click render sky and show world background. I'm going to use the image not only as a background but also as a source of light. Click environmental lighting and change the source to sky texture. A scene can have multiple sources of light but to demonstrate that in this scene the light is coming from the image background, I'm going to delete the lamp. Click Texture Properties, click the New Texture button and change the type to Environment Map. The name of the texture must match the name used in the code. Meaningful names are good. Light Map is the name used in the code snippet. In the Environment Map panel, click Image File, click Open. The two images used in the code snippet can be found in the Blend for Web folder, the Deploy folder, Assets, Code Snippets, Change Image, Textures, and I'm changing the display to Thumbnails. Here are the two images. Both have six faces to make a sky box. Select and open. Scroll down and in export options change usage to both, both environment lighting and sky dome. In the influence panel click horizon and click fast preview. And in the web browser, we not only get the image as the background, it also lights the cube. When you create a Blend for Web project, you must copy both background image files to somewhere inside the project folder and you must link the Blender file to the copy. So if I've created a project called My Change Image 2, I need to go to that folder, go into the Blend for Web folder, the Projects folder, My Change Image 2. I have put the images in the Assets folder. There are the two images, Select and Accept. Now when the project is uploaded to a web server, the link to the image file should work. The code for changing the image of the texture of an object is very similar to the code for changing the image of the background. The only difference is the function getObjectByName is used for images linked to objects and getWorldByName function is used for background images. It's the same replace image function. Here is the name of the texture and here is the name of the HTML image element to be linked to it. And in the same way as with objects, we change the image source to change the background image. The if statement allows us to toggle between the two images. World flag is a variable that's initially set to true. And this line, world flag equals not world flag, 
toggles the value between true and false. I'm going to end the tutorial there. I'll put my scenes Blender file and JavaScript file for you to download at my website. To visit my website, click the eye icon in the top right hand corner. If you'd like to subscribe, click the stick man. If you'd like to sponsor my tutorials, click the patron link. Thanks for watching and goodbye.